This might just be the world's most dangerous walk to school. For most of us, trekking through the snow, navigating icy rivers and crossing rickety bridges would constitute a pretty serious adventure. But that's what kids like 10-year-old Riggs and go through just to get to a classroom. Riggsen lives with his grandfather and three-year-old sister in a village called Zanska. It's in a remote part of the Himalayas in India. It spends half the year under a blanket of snow. A lot of the kids living here go to a boarding school in town, but at the end of the winter break, the bad weather means the streets out of the village are blocked off. So instead, intrepid students spend days winding their way along the frozen Chada River and through the mountains. It's a dangerous trip and it can take days. Rigson's grandfather says he gets scared that something bad could happen. It's such a difficult journey. There's a danger you can fall down the steep mountains. Sometimes we have to fix a rope and lower ourselves down. But it's the only way many kids in this community can get an education. School is important for my life. Soon, things could be looking up, thanks to a small Aussie charity. Its operators have spent years convincing local authorities to let them set up a boarding house in the Zanskar Valley. The 80-bed building will be somewhere students and their teachers can stay during the winter months when they're not at school and they can't get home. It'll mean these guys can get an education and not have to risk their lives in the process. Riggsen's sister is still too young for school, but the new building could be up and running by the time she's old enough to go. School is very important. We have to send her to school. So with any luck, the dangerous chartered trek will be a thing of the past before too long. <laughs>